much better. So hey guys and welcome to another video. Today is the first day of Vlogmas and yes this video is a pretty old but um this is going to be it's actually not that old it's like a couple of weeks old um I filmed it like a little bit of ago and I was supposed to post it um recently but unfortunately I did not um so you guys are going to actually get it today um it just happens to be the first day of Vlogmas so I wanted to get on here and do an actual intro video come here Ooh. So I wanted to get on here and do an intro video um, because one, there is no intro to this video, and then two, it is Vlogmas, so I wanted to start the first day off of with Vlogmas with an actual video um, with one that was from tonight, but unfortunately I do not have any, like, um, I don't have any, like, memory cards that have space on them, so... I have to edit this next video, kind of get everything all situated, and then I will be filming starting tomorrow, and it will be more than likely a baby girl's room, so you guys will be able to see that. Um, I'm about to go out to the store, so I am going to be posting this video pretty soon today, so just keep that in mind. Um, Stay tuned for Vlogmas because there's a lot of stuff going down this Vlogmas and this December. This is a, an exciting month. It's the second to last month before Baby Girl is here. And it's the second to last month where we are getting everything done for, um, for her and for ourselves and kind of preparing for her to be here. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into this video. Bye! <laughs> Alright, so, hey guys, um, we're back. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to kind of discuss is your birth plan. I know, like, this is really, really early. I'm in my second trimester. I'm gonna be in my third trimester this weekend, but, um, your birth plan, and <laughs> I don't know if like you guys have the support system that you need to have. But I really, really feel like it is very important for those who are around you to support your decision on how you want to birth your child. Whether that be a natural birth, whether that be a, and when I say natural birth, I mean unmedicated. I don't mean that any other birth is not natural because all births are natural, but an unmedicated birth or either a medicated with the epidural birth. Um, I feel like it is something um, that you should discuss with your partner. I feel like it is something that you should have support on, um, in finding that amazing support person, whether it's your partner, whether it's your mother, whether it's whomever it is, but making sure that you have like a decent support for that time frame and when you're ready to actually go through with your birth plan, obviously when you're giving birth, um, and laboring. Um, making sure that that person is there to support you and not negatively in any way impacting you in any type of way, shape, or form. Because I know <laughs> that I had mentioned to my mom, I was like, maybe, and I had mentioned to Jose as well, I was like, maybe I want to do a water birth. And my mom's like, you better get yourself into the hospital and have a baby a normal, no, normal way. And Jose's like, absolutely not. Like... <laughs> We don't even, we rent this house. It's not a house that we want to have birth in. And I mean, I understand Jose's reasoning. Um, however, I do always, like, that has always been, like, been one thing that I do want to try. I feel like I've done a lot of research on it, and it's something um, that I have always wanted to, like, do. Um, so, with that being said, I feel like, in that case, you need to make a plan for you and you need to stick to that plan. You need to write that plan down and you stick to that plan. You don't necessarily have to mention it to anyone. And if you do mention it to someone, they're not going to be in the room with you anyway. So it doesn't even matter. Um, COVID times, here we are. So it's just your partner and you. So as long as you and your partner are okay with this birth plan, um, which we've kind of decided what like an option would be for me, um, it's not a water birth, but we have decided on something, um, and kind of working towards that, um, with my midwife and things like that. Like, I know it's, like, super, super early, but just kind of, like, 
thinking about what I want to do in that plan is what we've decided on. Um, we haven't like started acting on anything or anything like that, but just being mindful of that information. I know I also speak a lot with my hands, so I'm sorry about that for this whole entire video. Um, another thing is if you are watching this video and you are not pregnant, do not tell someone <laughs> that your plan is just going to be a mess. Like this is just going to be a mess because you're unprepared. And I think that I may have said this. So if I have, I'll cut this out, but, um, don't tell someone that anything is going to be a mess. Like I know, okay. Don't tell anyone that anything's going to be a mess. Um, I am not prepared when it comes to her room. We have no idea what we're going to do with her room. Um, what it's going to look like anything. <laughs> We've bought a couple of things, but it's, I was like, I don't think that we're going to actually have like an actual something done until like maybe like 34 weeks. I know it may be a little too late because we're only have like six weeks left but, or three weeks left, but whatever. That's like when I plan because by time, like our weeks are just going by super, super fast. In the next three weeks, I, this weekend I work this Next weekend, I believe, is my godson's uh, birthday party. And then the weekend after that, obviously, is Thanksgiving and our nephew's birthday. And then there's the baby shower. There's a lot of things. And then Jose's birthday. And then I work again. And then it's, like, Christmas. So we just don't have time to sit down and really like kind of think everything through because we just don't know how things are going to be um so just don't tell a person that it's going to be a mess because they may be stressing out in the inside and you don't know that you have no idea and no way of knowing where their mental state is and you saying certain things can push them over the edge and let me tell you our emotions right now are very heightened like they are very 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 heightened um emotionally i'm at a point where i cry over like things that i feel like are not going my way or if someone tells me something i kind of take it to heart at this point and i like cry every like couple of days or whatever um they won't ever know that but like you don't know if someone's gonna like cry themselves to sleep because of what you said so please I encourage you I encourage you so so very much to not say anything negative to them please 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 consider their mental health and their mental being because at this time I'm considering other people's mental health and um, their well-being before my own and that's hard that is a harsh on me because I'm making decisions not based off of what I feel but based off of what I feel like is gonna happen if I tell this person that you can't do this um, so just be mindful of that another thing is another thing hmm ah Another thing is um, having your significant other, whether that's a female, whether that's a male, whether that's your husband, whether it's your boyfriend, fiance, girlfriend, whatever the case may be, um, that person, like, and Jose, like, I love him to death, I, I do. But there's certain things that Jose does not understand. And it's really, really, really hard um, mentally and emotionally. Like, there's some things that, like, me and Jose, so I'm going to be honest. We have been butting heads, like, nonstops um, since I found out, like, that I was pregnant. Like, we've just been butting heads for some reason. I don't know. Um, nothing negative or anything like that. But, like, there's some things that Jose says um, that's not okay. Um, and he doesn't realize it until after, until like I'm like crying or I'm very, very upset. So I, in, I highly recommend, and that's when we like actually can sit down and we can talk and we can be like, hey, he's like, hey, okay, I understand. Like I said this or I wasn't supposed to do this or whatever the case may be. And it can be about like the simplest thing. I, I know that I cry over the simplest things, but it can be over like a certain smell. Like recently we went to, um, 
a brewery or we went to a winery well I don't know we went somewhere and there was wings there and the wings like this baby does not like certain smells she's a very like keen to like so many different things and I don't know I just get really sick sometimes and it, this did not happen at the beginning of my pregnancy but it does happen now and he just was like why are you acting like that it's not that serious Well, number one, I'm carrying your baby that you decided to put inside of me. Number two, <laughs> um, you don't know how this feels. You don't know. Like, if I, if, I, if I could not say that it smelled bad, I probably wouldn't say that. Like, you know, if I, you could just eat your food like normal, that'd be great. But he doesn't understand certain things, and I think that it's a very important as a significant other to understand that you may not understand what the other person is going through like so for the male female or whatever it you may not understand what your pregnant pregnant significant other is going through but you need to be considerate of their feelings because they're not making it up it's not something that they're acting on because they're emotional it's something that they're legit legitimately feeling and it's something that they can't control so i feel like in that case you should be more supportive you should understand and in that case also girls like me who are pregnant um it's important to tell your significant other this is the situation i just need you to be here like and it's important very 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 important to have an open communication like maybe once a week or whatever the case may be but just sitting down and talking about like what you've experienced what you feel what's happening like so that they can to a degree understand they may not understand fully because they will not go through it and i don't know guys brains are just not fully equipped sometimes to understand these things but um having that conversation and having like that one-on-one -on -one depth in conversation um it really really tends to help um at least it helps for our relationship and being able to say hey that's not okay hey this is how i'm feeling hey this is this is how you made me feel or this is how i felt when you said um so kind of being mindful of that information in particular uh another thing is and something that i feel like is very very important um is focusing just having yourself your me time having yourself time time where you just disengage from like everything that you have to do whether it's a day off whether it's some time to yourself 15 minutes to yourself whether it's you just singing in the shower have yourself some type of self-care like you need to have some type of self-care because emotionally you're going through a lot you're dealing with a lot you're trying to discuss a lot you're trying to convey a lot you're trying to get your emotions your feelings your thoughts through and i know i know i know and i know that this is really really hard and i know when people say oh well it's your emotions and you are acting like no 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 Number one, don't ever let anyone tell you that because it's not your emotions. I mean, yeah, you're a little bit more emotional, but your feelings are real and sometimes they are accurately real based on the situation. So don't let anyone, like, I'm, I don't know what the word is. I, I have it on the tip of my tongue, but I just cannot find the word. Gosh, just don't let anyone lower gosh that's not the right word but we're gonna use it don't let anyone um lower your feelings based off of how you made them feel um or whatever the case may be with what you said because it was very very needed to be said obviously if you said it so just kind of be mindful of that um i don't know i just feel like at this point um, and I am going to end this video because this is a pretty, pretty long video, but I feel like at this point you need to take care of yourself mentally. And I have learned that about myself at this point. I am to the point where I am mentally, emotionally, physically taking care of myself. I told Jose this weekend, I was like, 
I'm not doing it anymore. Like I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't allow people to run my life and make me feel like I need to make decisions um, that I do not want to make. So I feel like you need to set your boundaries. So number one, set your boundaries. Number two, <clears throat> realize that your baby is not like everyone else's baby. Um, number three, Listen to the advice, but don't feel like you need to act on it. Number th four, make sure that you are, you have a support person who really truly understands you and that you have open communication with that person. Number five, focus on you and your health and your mental health and your baby's health and you as a human because it's, you are carrying this little human and God has chosen you to give this life. Another thing is just focus on the positives. Focus on what you can do. Focus on what you have done and the positives in that, that route. Don't focus on anything negative. Focus on you and I know that's easier said than done but take some time out for you. Um, another thing is if you have a negative person, take them out of your life take them out of your life because at the end of the day they're not really there for you i mean they are to a degree they're just there so that you can do things and they can know things whatever just take them out of your freaking life just <laughs> out them like is we done this relationship is done um just do that uh at this point i think that's all that i have for this video um, I think I've pretty much covered all of my bases, all of my information that I've wanted to cover. If I did not, I will probably put a sound over somewhere in this video or I'll just like do a random video. Um, but I did promise you guys a belly update. So like I said, I am 27 weeks, 27 weeks and four days, I think. I think that's what the thing said. Um, let's see. I've got to get ready to take Oakley out. Yeah, I'm 27 weeks and four days, um, so I will be in my third trimester this weekend, which is super, super exciting. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this belly update and yeah, kind of in this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. Um, please, 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 if you are pregnant at this time, please take in any of these considerations. It's not something that you have to do, but I encourage you to just take these considerations um, and focus on yourself and your well-being. I thank you guys so much again for watching and um, definitely make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos on my channel but thank you so so much again for watching and i hope that you have a great day night morning whenever you're watching this video Peace. Bye. <laughs> okay so this is what she looks like right now and i had you guys propped up on like this box and it happens that like our couch is black so my leggings are black it's not going to show up as accurate so it just works um but this is baby v at this time of course like i said i am 27 weeks and um four days um i am going to also be doing a second trimester video so this is what little bean looks like um, right now. Uh, also, these are maternity leggings, so that's why it has like this little cut here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, that's what she looks like and whatnot. So, baby girl is doing very well so far she loves soda um loves smooth my mommy has soda um but yeah this is her right now okay bye